Okay, hello everyone and welcome to part 2 of me attempting to speedrun Dark Souls very badly. So I figured out how uh, people run and have the halberd with them at the same time. And they do it by not having the halberd. So they basically de-equip it uh, while they are running to the boss and just put it on when they are at the boss. So we're gonna take on Quelag next which is just a tiny worry for me because I am gonna be poisoned I don't have any purple moss with me so how is this gonna go who knows it is possible to stun lock her using the halberd so I'm gonna be attempting that and if I can succeed so be it I should be able to deal plenty of damage to her <clears throat> But yeah, that's why I hit that bonfire. Normally you wouldn't do that in a speedrun. But I hit it just in case. Alright, we're gonna heal up. We're gonna put on the halberd. And let's go. Alright. Here's Quelag. So if I got this right... I just got hit by the first attack. Holy shit. You know, the fact that I survived that is kind of a miracle on its own. But, like I said, I am dealing a ton of damage to her. Am I out of range? Yeah, I am. So what you're basically trying to do is get up in her face which is not working out because she keeps spinning lava. I'm just gonna pull back here. You want her to, to start doing her sword attacks. Oh, don't jump. I cannot believe... How can I not avoid this? I'm dead. Okay, so we have death number two, I think, by now. Let's just see. Okay, okay, good. I just had to see if I was actually recording audio. And I was, so good. I'm gonna have to de-equip this thing again. This, I have a feeling, is not gonna be easy. Yeah, she can be pretty difficult. But like I said, I think the random number generator kind of screwed me over, because once you get her to basically come up to you and start doing her sword attacks, you can basically just chain stun lock her with the halberd so yeah we're gonna try doing that this run is just gonna keep getting more difficult so yeah uh... we... i better be prepared for more, more deaths okay let's run I'm just gonna... oops i keep jumping like i said not used to the xbox controller but if I can beat her today, that would be really good. I don't exactly remember. I did check my time before starting this run or starting this episode, but I don't exactly remember uh, where I was time-wise. Okay, this is good. What the fuck? And I'm dead. Okay, maybe this isn't as easy as it seems. I thought that if you do... That's what... Hmm. Because that's the attack you have to do. I must not have hit her at the right time. Okay, let's try again. Maybe I should just try fighting her normally. Instead of trying to stun lock her. Because I can beat her. But if I try fucking around... That might not be a good idea. So you know what? I'm just gonna try fighting her normally. The fact that she can pretty much one-shot me is not really that good. But yeah. Okay. We're gonna work on getting enough endurance soon to be able to wield the halberd. And be able to f uh, run quickly. Because that's really crucial to this run. 
Okay, here we go. Attempt number three. Shit. I got caught in the fucking lava. Just trying to put some distance between us. Okay. She did she, did she do the explosion? I didn't even see. Oh well. Doesn't matter too much. As long as Oh crap. Could have gotten a few hits in there. Okay. You can beat her normally. I just have to. Just have to not screw up. Like that. I screwed up. Ah uh, shit, I'm poisoned. This is not good. Shit, come on. There we go. Whew. It's a good thing that this weapon deals ridiculous amounts of damage. Alright, that went okay, I guess. It could have been better, but it could have been a lot worse. Let's just go ahead and... What we're gonna do is ring the second bell. Alright, let's skip the cutscene. We have a homeward bone. But... You know what? I might as well go down here and hit this bonfire. Just to make it easier to teleport to later. Because normally in a speedrun what you would do is... Uh, you wouldn't hit the Blighttown bonfire. And you can just warp back to Firelink Shrine. But since... Obviously, I'm not able to do that. I might as well hit this one too. So once we have the Lord Ves Vessel, we can just teleport here. Alright. Next on our agenda is taking out Sif. I have 20,000 souls exactly. So it is crucial that I do not lose them as I'm getting out of Blight Town here. So yeah, killing Sif is important for many things. Obviously for the Covenant of Artorius Ring, but also it's gonna give us enough souls to level up. I think we have to get our Endurance to 17 and our Strength to 24, or something like that. But getting 17 or 18 Endurance is the most important thing, because that's gonna allow us to... Uh, wield the halberd and still have the quick roll so yeah I'm gonna attempt to get out of here without dying and yeah we'll see how it goes the probably the most dangerous part of this is gonna be uh, those toxic blow dart guys and the fact that the screen is super dark and yeah god damn I cannot see shit it's really sunny outside today, and there's just like a huge amount of glare. Okay, just gotta avoid getting killed, basically. I might as well hit this bonfire too, since I'm here. I mean, I'm not gonna lose anything by doing it. And also what I might just do is go ahead and equip my battle axe until I'm making my way out of here. In case we do need to kill something, we at least have a chance. Alright. 
so yeah most important thing is not to get toxic because that would probably fuck me over losing this uh, uh, these 20,000 souls can potentially screw up the entire run so yeah Also, I gotta make sure not to fall down here, because that would really suck. Okay, doing okay so far. Although this is still the easy part. Okay, good, good, good. If I can make it up here... Shit, that's really close. One dart would probably get me too, so... Yeah. Okay, I think I'm clear. Good. We also have to watch out for the... Uh, for those fat barbarians up there. I think they're called barbarians, that enemy. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Nearly got hit there. Okay. Going up. I'm gonna heal, just in case. And we should be in the clear. Didn't have to use my battle axe. So, yeah. Let's... Oh, crap. Just avoid as much damage as we can. Okay. Out of... Yeah, we're clear. So, that wasn't as difficult as I thought it would be. Now we're just gonna make our way back to Firelink Shrine. Hopefully Sif would, will cooperate. He's not the most difficult boss in the game, but... He can screw you over. You know what? I might just go ahead and pick this up. In case we ever need souls. Hopefully the elevator... Ah, shit. I sent the elevator back up, didn't I? Ah, well. Just have to wait for it. God, come on, hurry up. There you go. Might as well de equip this. We're not gonna need weapons throughout the forest. But. Yeah, this bonfire. It's crucial that you kill, what's his name, Lotrak, so that this bonfire stays active. Plus for the ring, the ring is really useful. We're gonna rest up, and we're gonna visit, visit Andre next. I think it costs, the crest costs exactly 20,000 souls, or it should. Because if it's 25, I'm screwed. Wow, I'm beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Dark Souls 2 is going to be a lot more difficult in terms of speedrunning and generally everything because apparently now you can, you can get interrupted during any animation so like what I did in the undead parish where I opened the door and I couldn't be hit you're not gonna be able to do things like that anymore which should make the game a lot more interesting because you have to be so much more careful I mean once you get to know Dark Souls a lot there are a lot of things that you can exploit to your advantage we're gonna rest here cuz this is the bonfire we're gonna need. Okay. Andre. Let's go purchase item. A key. Crest of Artorias. Exactly 20,000 souls. Okay, good. And now we run through the forest. So yeah, really looking forward to Dark Souls. It's only like two more months. I guess less than two. No, about to. But yeah. Really looking forward to it. Definitely gonna be the first thing I do on my channel. 
I did think about maybe next month I'm actually gonna go ahead and pre-order it or in March I'm gonna just reserve a copy so that I can pick it up quickly and yeah get on with playing oh shit trying not to get killed here although these guys probably wouldn't kill me but this is gonna be a little bit dangerous running through this forest area beautiful such a pretty face okay let's go ahead and do this here probably one hit from one of these guys will kill me so yeah especially I have to watch out for the bandit here because he is a bastard but I think what you do is if you is it not I think if you do that the bandits will or the enemies will actually stop following you ah shit I thought I was stuck there for a second wow I know there is a way to skip this ruin by walking up on the railing but it's supposed to be really difficult to do so I'm not even gonna attempt it S getting the stone armor is super important cuz we're gonna need it for two of the l no three of the bosses we're gonna need it for the four kings uh, Gravelord Nito and Gwyn so yeah, that's really important is there something oh no it's uh, just those mushrooms walking around I swear I heard something like following me all right I'm not sure how this is gonna go we're gonna have to see just put on my halberd on hurry up Sif is gonna take a bit more to kill than Quelag simply because he's stronger ouch that hurt well welcome to one shot will I'm already 17 minutes in holy shit this is gonna be interesting the thing is I probably don't have time to retry him again you know what I'm gonna end the episode here I know I oops I know I kind of left it at a cliffhanger but in the next episode we're gonna take care of Sif Quelag was okay the great wolf might give us a bit more trouble probably I should use my shield that would help so yeah we're gonna try him next time but I want to thank you guys very much for watching part 2 of Sprint Souls. And I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.